Hello, everybody, and welcome to a special segment of Lakers TV. We know you've heard of the game horse on the basketball court, Chris Douglas Roberts, Robert Sacre. We're going to do something called tattoo horse. The way it's going to work is we're going to start with my man Sacre. He's going to show us one of his tattoos, and then CDR is going to try to answer, and you guys are going to judge. Actually, I'm probably going to judge, but we'll see how it all works out. So, for the first tattoo rookie, Robert Sacre, what do you got for us? I'm going to bring up the actual horse. It says in the bloodline because, you know, we have top athletes in my family, so uh, we're thoroughbreds. So I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> I don't think CDR can really match that. But. That's a nice tattoo. Wow. All right. Well, he started out with, like you said, the thoroughbred in his arm. What do you got for us, Chris? Um, I actually have my logo on the back of my neck. CDR, very creative. Dude, turn around. I got you. Very creative. Um, <laughs> What more can I say? It's, it's, it's very creative. All right. They started off, you started off kind of aggressively. And Chris, as I know, is, is just a kind of a laid back, cool cat. And he, he just kind of came out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call this one a push, no letter awarded. Okay. What? You go, don't want me. I'm the judge. All right, next tattoo, Robert Sacre. The next tattoo, uh, I would probably have to go with my little voodoo doll. Uh, just because... I wanted to represent Louisiana and have like a voodoo theme. Is that it? I'm just kidding. That was good. All right. What do these tattoos mean? Like, what, what, can we go over that again? <laughs> the voodoo doll represents what? Chris would like a little more explanation, please, so, Robert. I have like a whole New Orleans theme on my arm on this side, so I just put the voodoo doll in. So it wasn't necessarily, was it anything you went through or just sort of an interest that you had? I had like, I just want to represent my home in Louisiana. Okay. That's nice. Yeah. Fair enough. Chris, what's up? What do you got next? Um, my whole left arm, whole left side is dedicated to where I'm from. I'm kind of um, going in the way Sacre did, is representing his hometown. So for people who, who, who really don't know, I have the, the Verner's soda on the back of my Fantastic. Makes you, makes you uh, sneeze sometimes with the bubbles. Oh, it's so good. Right? No, it's it so is great. Good. It's and great. it's a Detroit original. You know, I advise everybody to try this at least one time in your life so the detail on it is amazing too shout out to my uh tattoo artist g money g know. money shout out g money g money gallo up. all right well, now chris you just to clarify you're from the the numbers streets yes, in detroit the streets, yes. west side west side okay west side number streets <laughs> You know, but there, this is this is just one this is just one round. All right, it, it, it was just one round. Now again, you guys are making it tough on me. You both came with some hometown meaning. I, I am gonna give CDR the slight edge just because I've had Verners before, and it is fantastic. Have you had it? No, I have not. Okay. Well, instead of a full horse, it's T A T or T. So you've got a T. All right, okay. but I, I'm expecting to see big things on your third tattoo. I'm gonna bring out Big Dog. Okay. Snoop Dog. Whoa. Yeah, I got Snoop. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm going to bring out the big dog. And I don't know what else to say. Like, he's the best. So He's your favorite? He's, he's, he's up there. Him and DMX. So I'm just. He has DMX tatted on him, too. Look, let's see that one. <laughs> Look, there goes DMX. Too. Flesh my flesh, Snoop blood of my blood. I just want, I just putting it out there. Snoop is the man. And uh, I don't see how he can compete with Snoop. Well, Chris, I'll, I'll have you answer this now. You, before we went on camera, you said, well, what is the meaning, though, behind having a, a Snoop yes. or a DMX? So, so why don't you expound on that as you show us your next tattoo? Um, see, all my tattoos are very meaningful to me. Like, I, I have what, very meaningful tattoos. What, so. is, your, what is your next one? So is, by him um, giving me the Snoop Dogg tat, I, I really don't, I really don't have is, a this meaning is, this behind. Is, this is my music, though. This is what I like to listen to. So I okay. should maybe get John Lennon. Uh, <laughs> you like John Lennon? What's John Lennon's favorite song? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna just take a. I'm gonna take a letter, cause okay. I can't compete with. I can't compete with uh, a Snoop oh, Lion oh. tattoo. Okay, I, I don't know if he's so being it's tied up. Okay. Fair enough. That's I'm very. Take a letter. It's very noble of CDR. I don't know if he's being facetious or not. Nonetheless, we're tied at T's. So congrats on that round. Let's go to the next one. This time, starting out with CDR. What do you got next for us? Well, my most um, legendary tattoo is my um bible scripture this was very popular when i was in the ncaa tournament in 2008 it's, um, shout out Psalms. to memphis yes this was very popular i think 
there were many like pages just just dedicated to this tattoo and um instead of giving you guys the entire scripture it's basically saying you know trust in the lord and, and do good and he'll give you whatever your heart desires so this is my most legendary tattoo that i'm sure a lot of people are familiar with that's, okay. That's, very meaningful. That's deep. Very meaningful. He's going deep. He's, he's yeah. saying that people know it. They know it in Memphis. I'm sure they know it in the west side of right. Detroit. How, wh what's your answer? I'm bringing out the, uh, the lion with the royals that represents my high school when we won let's, it all. Let's let him, uh, let him take when a look at that one. This is an A. This is an A. You know, because <laughs> we were the royals. <laughs> because we were the royals. And so I wanted to represent it. My, my high school where I'm from and yeah. basically when we wanted I just wanted to have you know the, the my team always in my mind so I just wanted to represent my team I do again I once again it's it's a little difficult to judge because you both are coming with strong stuff I'm just saying we are oh, that's creativity it, right there well it's it's not so much creative it was just where you went yeah, we it's just Royals, your, you but know? it's your high school it's like the creativity Chris had to come up with something unique for himself so we're gonna give this one to him Oh, don't look so God. upset. This don't look so upset. It's it's not over yet. It's just T A okay. to T. Okay. All right, and now it's your turn to come back. The lion has a crown on his head. Yeah, I mean, he makes a good point. The lion does have a crown on his head. Is, is the, <laughs> does, king. At your, he's does he royal. have that at your he, school? He's a royal. But you does know? your is, king. He's your king. school does have a king? Uh, he's a king, of course. Oh well, all right, uh, that is kind of cool. I mean, he didn't yeah. make it up. All right, yeah. what's next? What's is that next? A female lion or? Here's a main. No, that, you no. Think? Come what on, Chris. <laughs> Come on, now. They, not a lot of lions in Detroit. All right. All right. I next. So. What's oh, next? Yeah. They, they don't win. That's for sure. All right. Shirts I'm coming up again. Tattoo. I'm just going to represent uh, Laugh Now, Cry Later. Uh, my my two pit bulls on my back. And uh, you want to get a look at this, Chris? Yeah, I got. I got to see. You know, okay. one's laughing, one's Here. crying. I didn't want the, the. I didn't want the. You know, same clown faces or anything but yeah. uh, I put them on the dogs so uh, I just kind of wanted to represent you know can't be mad all the time so I just want to be happy all the time very nice I like that Robert I really like I, I really that's like, a nice sentiment Chris you know? I really like uh, Sacre I really yeah. like Sacre I'm, I'm gonna put him out his misery <laughs> but I really like Sacre um, okay oh, you see what you got you seem like you're holding or, something so yeah. you just gonna slander my tattoos I'm not gonna slander you I, I beat you up just to tear you down now. <laughs> I understand the laugh now cry later is you know it's, okay. it's kind of typical okay but I'm gonna put him out his misery. I, I have a family tree on my chest with all my family members. You know, um, it's a family wow. tree. It's very you know, original. It was a seven and a half hour tattoo. Wow. I mean, it, it just shows how much I care about my family. I have every family member's name on my chest. This was a seven and a half hour tattoo. Well, uh, all right. So put you know out, what? Put for it out there, Miss. Excuse for for this particular question, just real quick, Come on. we have a special guest judge, Pagasol. The, the gentlemen here are showing us their tattoos and, and comparing. And here, I'm having a hard time judging this one because Chris went to his family and Robert went to his dogs, and I have respect for both. So, would you like to tell w which one of those means has more meaning to you? Well, family would always have a little more meaning than my than dogs. Oh. Than a, yeah. I mean, one I, of the dogs is smiling, and the other one has a frown on his face. <laughs> <Just>. <laughs> FYI, right? Uh, so yeah, uh, but again, I won't make you decide, Pau. But you don't have any tattoos in your shows, do you? No, I don't. I don't. They don't. But do still, that. respect for Pau Gasol, though. Absolutely. Come on, Pau. Pau put me over the top. <laughs> uh, Pau, guest judge, we appreciate it, sir. Uh, anytime, anytime. Well, now, while, while Pau Gasol was leaning towards Chris Douglas Roberts on that particular shot, I have a dog that I feel very close to, Lila at home. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry, I got to give this Thank one to you. Robert. <laughs> and this sets it up at TA. <laughs> TA. So, and this, and it fi so final tat. So this is for the winning. Whoever has the better tattoo of this one, and we'll see if Powell wants to help I or not. You should start. Last time, Chris Douglas Robert, start your last tattoo. Oh, man. <laughs> well, my last tattoo is uh, another very meaningful tattoo. It's on my neck. It's of my 10-month-old daughter, Zay Alexandria. It's going to be tough, Robert. I think, you know, he's going to his daughter. Nice lettering. Zay. That's my 10-month-old. The most meaningful thing in your life. Yeah. 
I base tattoos off of meaning. So if we want to do, like, we want to do family, <laughs> I have my son's name, you know, but I was going to do my first tattoo, and that's Sacre Lafleur. And uh, Sacre represents, that's my last name. And then Lafleur is my dad's last name, which is Sacred Flower in French, which that's why I put the fleur de lis in the middle. So What's it that is in the middle? A fleur de lis. That's a flower in French. Nice, nice. So I'm just saying, sacred flower. That's the family, you know. That's a very. That's, that's very. That's, all right. I like that. All right. Well, listen. Thank you very much to both of you. You've both been terrific. Pal, wouldn't you say they've been excellent? They've been excellent. They've been great. Yes. Thanks, Pal Gasol. Yeah. Excellent. Pal Gasol. Now, what we're going to do, though, we're going to let you guys decide, okay? We'll put something up on the website, and you can get back to us on Twitter. Whose tattoos did you like more? Chris Douglas Roberts. A lot of, lot of family, a lot of Detroit. The son yeah. on this side, the daughter on this side. Or Robert Sacre. He's going to his hometown. He had the lion. He had Snoop Dogg and inexplicably DMX. He had as well. So and you Mike got Tyson too. He has Mike Tyson. On. <laughs> he does have Mike he Tyson Mike too. Tyson All right. Well, it's too. been fun. Well, you guys let us know who you think won. We'll see you next time on Lakers TV. <laughs>